Right. So if you if it's safe to do so, if you're not driving in the car, uh, just close your eyes and take a gentle breath in. And let it go. And we're going to do another one. And I want you to notice just how full your breath is. So is it full and going down deep into your belly, relaxed and open? Or is it tight and constricted and up high in your chest? So go ahead and breathe in and just notice. And as you tune into that breath, just tune into all the anxiety that you might be feeling. How much anxiety is in your breath? How much stress are you feeling right now? And give it a number on a scale of zero to 10. So on the stress, the anxiety, the overwhelm about everything that's happening, just give it a number. And would, would this number be between one and 10? Yes, zero to 10. Absolutely. Zero to 10. Excellent. Yeah. And pick whatever number, and then we'll gently open our eyes and do some tapping. So I'm going to lead you through. Marie, will you be my echo? Oh, of course. And does it matter what side we're going on? Nope. Whatever feels comfortable for you. Great. And you can do eyes opened or closed if you know the points and you like to go deeper and close them. And then... I'm going to do the face points for this demonstration. If you're out and about and you pulled over to tap with us and you haven't washed your hands, just skip them. It, the process works great skipping points. It's not- Also uh, too, yeah, not to interrupt you, but for the folks listening on the podcast, will you talk us through just in case I, they can't see the visual? You got it. So we're starting the tap on the side of the hand. It's called the karate chop point. It's below the pinky on the outside of the hand. So you're taking four fingers of one hand and tapping gently whatever hand feels comfortable. And should you Never. switch hands? By the way, I'm going to be the yeah. annoying person no, asking all the questions. No, please do. I love <laughs> it. Because I know that my audience is going to be like, what the, What are we doing? How do I <laughs> yeah, do yeah. it? Am I doing it wrong? Yeah. Great. You don't need to switch hands, whatever feels comfortable for you. Yeah. Great. So we're tapping gently. We're tuning into that breath and repeat after me. Even though I feel so much anxiety. Even though I feel so much anxiety. About everything that's going on. About everything that's going on. I choose to relax and feel safe now. I choose to relax and feel safe now. And we're still on the side of the hand, tapping gently, even though this feels so overwhelming. Even though this feels so overwhelming. I choose to relax and feel safe now. I choose to relax and feel safe now. And one more time, still tapping on the side of the hand, even though I'm holding so much stress in my body. Even though I'm holding so much stress in my body. It's safe to let it go now. It's safe to let it go now. Now we're going to tap through the points. The first point is the eyebrow. Inside of the eyebrow, right where the hair ends and it meets the nose, you can use two fingers of one hand, the other hand, or both hands. The meridians run down both sides of the body, and you're just tapping gently and tuning in to that stress and anxiety. All we're doing in this moment is we're actually looking to fire that amygdala because we want to counteract it with that calming signal. So just tapping gently and breathing gently. Now we'll move to the side of the eye. It's not at the temple, a little further in, right on the bone. Again, one side or both sides. Don't worry about getting it perfect. Take a moment to think about just how overwhelmed you are. There is so much going on, and that's okay. There's so much going on, and that's okay. Under the eye, right on the bone. It's safe to feel this anxiety. It's safe to feel this anxiety. Under the nose. And it's okay. safe to begin to let it go. And it's safe to begin to let it go. I hope everyone listening to the podcast right now comes and watches the visual. Just had to say. <laughs> Under the mouth. You're going to go above the chin, below the lip, and that little crease in there, we're tapping with two fingers, tapping gently. It's safe to feel this anxiety. It's safe to feel this anxiety. For the collarbone point, feel for the two little bones of the collarbone. Just go about an inch right below it. You can tap, tap with all 10 fingers of both hands. It's safe to feel this anxiety. It's safe to feel this anxiety. Underneath the arm, three inches underneath the armpit, either side of the body, right on the bra line for women. It's safe to feel all the stress. It's safe to feel all the stress. And we'll move back to the top of the head and it's safe to let it go and it's safe to let it go. Moving back to the eyebrow, it's safe to breathe deeply. It's safe to breathe deeply. 
Sardiai, I acknowledge all my stress. I acknowledge all my stress. Under the eye, and I begin to feel safe in my body. And I begin to feel safe in my body. Under the nose, the more I relax. The more I relax. Under the mouth, the more my body heals. The more my body heals. Collarbone, the more I relax. The more I relax. Under the arm, the more my body heals. The more my body heals. Top of the head, letting go now. Letting go now. And you can gently stop tapping and take a breath in. And let it go. So that was two very quick rounds, and now we tune back in. So we say, first the breath. So go ahead and just take a breath. I know, you know, I tapped earlier this morning, but I've had a busy day, and even in that two rounds, I felt my breath deepen down into my stomach. So just tune into that. And then also notice that anxiety, the stress, the overwhelm. It was a 10 or a 9 or an 8. What's the new number? What came up? And the tapping process is continuing to do that. So we did two rounds for demonstration. A yeah. lot of the meditations on our app are anywhere between eight and 12 minutes to go a little bit deeper. And then we, what happens with the tapping process also too is that we start doing it and we think we're worried about one thing, but all of a sudden we realize, oh, you know what? It's really this thing that I'm worried about. So it's almost like self-therapy where it like lets our unconscious mind give us the truth about what we're feeling, what's happening, and helps us to let go.